Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Now today I received a brand new package direct from Nocta and I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. We have the new generation Simplex. Can't wait to get into this today. We're doing an unboxing video. So I'm Adam, this is my new metal detector and this is the first look at the Simplex Ultra. Welcome to Detect Sussex. Okay, so thank you for joining me for my first look at the brand new Simplex new generation machines. Um, I've got the Simplex Ultra here, which is what I'll be unboxing today. The original Simplex, the Simplex Plus, came out almost four years ago, took the market by storm. It's the best selling metal detector on the market today. Um, the original idea behind the Simplex was that it was simple enough to be operated by a beginner so they can learn on the machine and develop but it was powerful enough to satisfy the needs of expert users and the new generation of simplex is designed for exactly that what they've done over the last few years is they've listened at nocta they've listened to the customers and they've produced three new uh, simplex machines there's the simplex bt you can see a, a, an outline of it on the box there. That is essentially the new version of the original Simplex. It'll have a very similar setup on the, the software with a few tweaks and, and improvements. Um, it's got a Bluetooth connection rather than, than the original wireless, but it is essentially a modernized version of the original machine. All of the machines have got smaller control boxes and, and are lighter. Um, they all operate on 15 kilohertz frequency. They then got a model down from the BT, which is the Simplex Lite, and that is a stripped back version. A lot of users uh, didn't want to spend quite as much as uh, the original Simplex uh, was going for. Um, they just wanted something really cheap and cheery, cheery. They didn't know whether they were going to continue with the hobby. Something they can just throw in the boot of the car and use a couple of times a year. So the Simplex Lite will be a very stripped down version of the Simplex. But then, because the Simplex is also aimed to please experts, they've come out with the Simplex Ultra, which is the standard Simplex, but with a few extra bells and whistles on. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So, quick look around the box, see what we've got. Simplex new generation, offering extreme depth and high-end features at an entry-level price. Uh, we've got headphones pictured on there. I imagine they probably not sent me the headphones uh, because they're identical headphones to the Legend and they know that I, not to know that I use the Legend all the time. So I'd imagine I'm probably gonna be using my Legend headphones with these, but if you buy this new, you should have the headphones included. Uh, IP68 waterproof rating, uh, waterproof up to five meters or 16 feet. So you can go diving with this just like the original Simplex. Uh, a few key features at the bottom, uh, easy to operate, uh, vibration. So if you're using it underwater or if you are hearing impaired, that's very useful. Uh, I've got a backlit keypad, LCD and an LED flashlight on the back, again, like the original Simplex. Uh, long battery life, it'll be a rechargeable battery and online firmware update. So as with all the Nocta machines, if there are any tweaks that they need to make aftermarket or any improvements they can make after suggestions, they can do that via a quick update on the website. Uh, on the right hand side of the box, uh, it says lightest in weight while heavy on features. I did feel a, a prototype of this at uh, Detectable this year and it is remarkably light. Um, I remember picking it up and just being surprised at how, how light it is. It comes in at only 1.2 kilograms or 2.6 pounds. Got a little diagram showing the uh, extended uh, machine with the cam locks, telescopic operation as per usual. Uh, the Simplex Ultra has carbon fiber hardware on it. The lower machines don't have that. Um, and it's Bluetooth connectivity with the headphones on the side. So let's have a quick look on there. You've just got serial numbers and stuff. Back side of the box is the same as the front. There's the top, blank bottom. And then on this side, it gives you an idea of the contents. Um, so obviously this box will be used for all three, Ultra, 
uh, the Ultra with headphones, Ultra and BT. So yeah, Ultra with headphones. I'd imagine they've just sent me the standard Ultra without the headphones, but we'll see how that goes. Um, double D search coil, 28 centimeters. So they're calling the prefixes for the coils are SX for this one. The original Simplex was SP, this is SX. Uh, headphones are pictured and Simplex cap. Oh, get a new Simplex cap, brilliant. Nice, and charging and data cable on there as well. So let's get into this, shall we? That's what we've been waiting for. Let's get the box open. Enough chatting. Let's get to the action. There we are. And there it is. Yes, so it looks like I've got the version without the headphones, which is fine, as I said. It's the uh, same as the Legend headphones, so I've already got that. Got your usual uh, user manual there. Um, the usual metal detecting code of ethics, not to always put in. Let's have a quick squiz at the manual, because it looks like they've got the uh, all three models on there, on the picture. Put that to one side. Yeah, so there's the manual, and you can see we've got the Simplex Lite with the green styling, Simplex BT, BT stands for Bluetooth, with the blue styling, and then Simplex Ultra with the red styling on the side there. All look exactly the same from the outside. Uh, it's really what's inside that changes. Um, and obviously the, the Ultra has some extra carbon fiber um, upgraded hardware, so nice. Use a manual for me to peruse over over the next few days. We've got the baseball cap. Really pleased to have this with the new Nocta logo on the side. Obviously the one I've got at the minute from the last Simplex uh, was Nocta Macro rather than Nocta. So that's good. Excellent stuff. Good quality baseball cap. Happy with that. Uh, we've got the data cable and the connector is the usual one. Same as the Simplex and Legend and the Amphibio. Um, I think the cruiser, but I haven't used the cruiser myself, so I'm not 100% sure. We've got the arm strap there and the uh, the bracket to fix the coil onto the end. And then we have the hardware. So carbon fiber uh, shaft, so telescopic, cam lock there. So yeah, carbon fiber top and bottom. That's beautiful. I think they've actually changed the coating on these. Yeah, there's definitely a thicker coating on here, so a bit more protected from... Uh, Debris getting in there and stopping that from uh, from moving. Excellent stuff. Put that to one side. And then we've got the machine itself. Now it's tied in with these Velcro strips. So let's take that off. Now these are really good Velcro strips. Don't throw these away. I always use these. You can use them to keep the uh, the cable close to the, uh, the shaft. So yeah, keep those handy. And get that out. So here is the new Simplex Ultra. Got the uh, the same hardware on this as the Legend, the new Legend hardware that's just come out recently. Uh, much more lightweight, you see there's uh, lots of weight saved there, but still, yeah, that feels really tough, really strong. And looks like we've got the uh, accessory rail as well, same as the Legend, same shape as the Legend in the receiver there. So presumably, don't quote me on this, but presumably, the, uh, the Legend external battery will probably work on there if need be. Again, cam lock at the top. On the back of the unit, we've got uh, the flashlight. Uh, we've got the charging port, same system as the Legend with the uh, screw on cap there to protect it. And then this will be for the coil on the right hand side there. Uh, serial number, if you ever need it, is always on the back of the control box on there. And then there is the screen. Now I'm going to get this together. Uh, we'll get the call out in a second, but I'll get this together. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Oh, I've accidentally turned it on. Those buttons are amazing. Those buttons are lovely. They feel so good. Well, there's a quick uh, teaser of the screen. <laughs> uh, oh, go on then, while we've got it on, we might as well have a quick play, mightn't we? Obviously, the coil's not connected, so I've got a coil warning in the middle. Uh, let's see. Now, I haven't, I've not looked at the manual, so I'm guessing on a lot of this stuff. We've got extra modes. So we've got, uh, what's that? That'll be field mode, park mode. Oh, four tone, 99 tone, beach mode, and all metal mode. Excellent. Uh, we've got the discrimination set at the top here. Looks like beach mode, again, like the original Simplex, automatically discriminates some of that out. Uh, this will be sensitivity on the left-hand side. Oh, okay. 30 levels of sensitivity on there. Fantastic stuff. Only had seven on the original Simplex. Yeah, all the way down, great stuff. 
On the right will be your depth gauge, in the middle will be where your VDI uh, numbers come up. Um, I'll just try and keep the, uh, the screen on if I can. Uh, we've got mineralization meter here, battery meter here, so very similar to the original Simplex, just with a couple of extra modes and more stages on the sensitivity so far. And then we've got our options down the bottom. So if we go to settings button, that should take us down to the bottom. So that'll be, I'm assuming volume. Um, I'm not gonna guess what half of these are. These, these look like, um, yeah, I'm not gonna pretend I know what all these settings are gonna be. I need to read the manual. Um, looks like we've got all sorts of frequency shift, um, recovery speed, recovery speed. Hey, recovery speed on, on Simplex. Fantastic. Uh, oh, tone, you can edit the tones. Uh, threshold will be active when you're in all metal mode and then Bluetooth control on the side there. So lovely. So yeah, still looks fairly simple to use. I need to look up a couple of the, low, of the icons, what they do. Um, but yeah, essentially that's great. And those buttons are fantastic. If you use the original Simplex, you'll know the buttons are really stiff, quite hard to push. These are beautiful. Backlit as well, lovely blue backlight. Don't know if you can make that on the video. Gorgeous. Right, let's try, uh, turn that off. And I'm just going to have a quick look at the coil and then we'll get the whole thing put together. Just throw that through there. Check there's nothing underneath. Nope. Okay, so similar looking coil to the Legend. Um, standard legend coil, it's the new Nocta style of coil. There's something a little bit different about it, can't quite put my finger on it. Um, maybe slightly more rounded around the edges. It feels nicer, it looks nicer. Still very lightweight. This is the SX28 coil, so it's the uh, um, 11 inch front to back, standard size for stock coil on the Nocta machines with a lovely new Nocta logo on the back there, and obviously a coil cover on there. Excellent. All right, let's put this together and see what it looks like all in one piece. So there it is, the brand new Simplex Ultra all together. You can see the arm cuff I pointed out earlier, really, really strong and sturdy. One thing I would say looking at this, and I can't quite believe I'm saying this, um, compared to the original Simplex, which was built like a tank. I mean, I've dropped that thing from a high height accidentally, and it's not even taken a scratch. This feels a lot more robust than the original Simplex does. So it'll be interesting to see how it fares when we get it out into the open. Um, obviously, I can't comment on the performance of it because this is the first time I've had it out of the box. I haven't had a chance to use it properly. Um, I'll hopefully head out uh, possibly to the beach for the first hunt in the next few days. Um, and then we'll try it on land and we'll try and put it through its paces there. But yeah, if you know the Simplex, if you know the Legend, you'll be quite familiar with this and how it goes together. Very, very easy to do. Um, the usual cam locks. And uh, yeah, I think the uh, if you get the Ultra, the, uh, the carbon fiber definitely has a, a nicer coating on it. It definitely slides in and out of the shafts a lot more easily. Um, so yeah, no real surprises putting it together, but it does feel incredibly light, definitely lighter than the original Simplex. I don't think I felt a metal detector this light um, 
before. So yeah, very odd. If you are used to the simplex, you'll notice that the control box is a lot thinner. I think the original simplex would have been out here somewhere, a lot thinner. And like I said before, those buttons are absolutely a pleasure to use. Incredible. Right, I'm gonna grab the manual. We're gonna go through some of those uh, menu options that I showed you earlier and just to cover off everything that's on the screen. And then, uh, yeah, we'll call it a day. And then we'll uh, we'll take it out in a few days time, put it through its paces. All right, let's have a look at the menus. Okay, so I've had a quick spin through the manual. I know a little bit more about the uh, the icons. So let's have a quick look at them. Software version seven, which is what's been uh, shipped with the machine. Uh, so very quick spin through the main screen. Again, we've got our VDI range at the top with our notch discrimination underneath. Uh, field mode, part mode, four tone, 99 tone, beach mode, and all metal mode. Uh, we've got 30 stages of sensitivity on the left here. Uh, target depth on the right. VDIs will appear in the middle. I've dis disconnected the coil just so we don't get lots of beeps um, as I'm going through. Um, we've got our mineralization bar and our battery level bar. Okay, so quick look through the buttons. We've got our usual uh, D-pads. You'll recognize that from the original simplex. Um, but then the keys are a little bit different. We've got the um, ground balance button on the left here. So you go into ground balance mode. Uh, we've got plus and minus, which is accept and reject. On the middle here, we've got a return button, which will take you back to the main screen. And we've got our pinpoint button on the right here, which will give you your pinpoint mode. We've then got settings and off. So these are single press buttons. They're not one side or the other. They're just indicating that the button has a dual purpose. Um, so for example, if you want to go into the settings, you press it once. If you want to turn the machine off, you'd hold down the, the button at any stage. So let's have a quick look at the icons at the bottom here. I've had a quick look through. I may have to refer to the manual once or twice, but we'll see how we get on. So the first uh, icon is your volume. So plus or minus to change the volume on the machine from mute all the way up to full. Moving over, we've got our discrimination options. So if I push plus and, sorry, uh, tick and cross, accept and reject. The first mode is discrimination. So you can set your uh, discrimination uh, notches at the top there. We can then got iron on or off. So this will turn the, uh, the reading for iron on or off. There we are. On here, we've got uh, settings for coins and relics. Now, I'll need to read this in a little bit more detail, but it seems like the uh, the range and the VDI numbers um, change um, depending on whether you have coins or relics selected. Now, again, don't take my word for that. I'll have to do a bit more practicing, practicing and playing with that to uh, get used to what that's all about. That's an interesting one. And also, this last one is all about the depth at which you'll get a reading or a VDI from the machine. So low, medium, and high. Essentially, if you are set to get VDIs at a deep level, um, you're more likely to get wobbly VDIs than you are at a shallow level. So that's why they give you the option and you can set the machine up to your style of hunting. Next off, we have the, let me just double check the manual, frequency shift, I think. No, sorry, ground suppressor, beg your pardon. So you can change the amount of uh, ground suppression you've got to get rid of the ground noise. Now we've got the frequency shift. So you've got the frequency shift F1, F2, F3. So you can just make adjustments if you're getting interference. We now have recovery speed. Um, so five stages of recovery speed from slow to fast. We then have various tone options. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on these. Uh, we've got various different options for changing the tones, the frequencies, the tone breaks, that kind of stuff. And that will be your threshold control when we're in all metal mode. It, uh, you won't be able to select it in any other mode. And then we have other settings. So you get into the settings menu, We've got Bluetooth that'll be on and off. There's your vibration settings. Uh, that'll be the backlight brightness. So it gets brighter or dimmer. As you go around, that's off. So I think that's gonna be auto and that's just gonna be on constantly. Then we've got our flashlight, which is on the back. I don't know if you can make that out of my hand. There is the flashlight. There we go. And that'll be your reset. So there we are. Uh, that's the Ultra. Obviously you won't have all those settings if you get the BT or the light version. The Ultra is the all singing, all dances, extra bells of whistle, extra bells and whistle, whistles on there. Um, that's the, the top of the range of the new three machine 
range of simplexes. So, so far, very, very impressed. Can't wait to get this out. We'll be going out on the beach in the next few days and we'll get it out on the farm as well and see how we fare with it. Um, be very interested to see how this goes and how these new modes perform. Um, sounds wise, I know I haven't had the sounds on, but they're the same as the previous simplex. So you'll be used to those tones if you've heard the simplex before. Don't forget, if you want to see how I get on with, the, with this machine and how it performs out on the beach, parks and fields, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you'll get just that from me over the coming weeks as I put this machine through its paces and test out all its possible settings. Have yourselves a fantastic week, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Take care. <laughs>